A once in a lifetime experience to give a manatee a second chance at life unfolded here on the Sun Coast. SN Jessica Lang has more on the rescue. In the right place at the right time. Boaters Keith Meyer and Aaron Spencer were pulling their boat from the Venice Intracoastal Waterway Sunday when they saw a manatee bobbing in the water. We didn't know that it was an abnormal activity for him to be doing that. He explained to us that it was from the red tide, neurotoxins affecting him, and he was going down. Red tide already killed five other manatees over Labor Day weekend in the Venice Nokomis area, but Spencer and his friends were determined to keep this one alive. It's humbling to be able to know that you had a part in maybe saving something that otherwise wouldn't have made it. Florida Fish and Wildlife warned the men saving the manatee could be risky. And he was like, if you guys want to, you know, it's kind of dangerous. And we were like, oh, we've, we're dangerous guys. <laughs> Despite the warning, they jumped in and held the manatee above water until FWC and Moat Marine arrived. It was like a big puppy in the water. It was nuzzling its nose into my other buddy's neck as we held it up out of the water. FWC, Moat, and the boaters were able to bring the manatee to the boat ramp. FWC Manatee Rescue then took it to SeaWorld Orlando for rehabilitation. I talked to Officer Joyce a little earlier and he was telling me that from what he's heard, he's, the manatee is still alive. After the exciting end to their vacation, Spencer and Meyer now call their group the Redneck Manatee Rescue Unit. The first guys that was able to get in the water and help hold them up, it was actually a once in a lifetime experience that, that not a lot of people get to experience. Reporting in Venice, Jessica Lang, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. So glad that manatee is okay. According to the Venice Police Marine Unit, SeaWorld says the manatee is awake now and no longer showing signs of red tide exposure.